Okay, well, hey, howdy, and uh, welcome to the Camp Wound Dog Workshop. Um, here's a little tip on... I got a little junk around here. Here's a little tip on uh, shipping lanterns with globes on them. Um, some guys like to put the globe in another container, wrap that well, and then wrap the lantern. And that works fine, but I, I, ship, a, whoop, I ship a lot of stuff. And one thing I've learned is that the smaller and more secure your package is, the cheaper your shipping rates are. So this is how I go about doing it with a globe. Um, and some guys are going to hate this, but it works. I've only had it fail one time out of, I don't know, 60. Anyway, take your globe off. On a 200, you take your bale and all that off. Put a little bit of paper towel around the base of the globe rest, where the lantern would fit in. Then you take some... Uh, more paper towel and put it over the top Whoop. put it over the top like this and then carefully slip your globe over that so what you got is your globe is is held in place by the lantern itself but there's enough padding so the globe doesn't rattle then I'll take another hunk of paper towel, fold it over a couple times, put it over the top, put the shade back on, and tighten it. Alright, now you've got a thing where your globe is not going to come loose. Okay? But you got to make sure that when you're doing this, the glass is not contacting any metal directly. You want it wrapped in paper towel. Then wrap the whole sucker up with a couple turns of bubble wrap. Then I'd stick the bale on the outside. When you got that, get a hunk of scrap cardboard. Roll it around the lantern like this. Tape it up. Put another couple wraps of bubble wrap tape it all together, then stick that in a bigger cardboard box and pad around there with anything that's light and cheap. Um, newspaper works, uh, styrofoam, packing peanuts work, but I try to use, not use those because they're so darn annoying when you take the package apart you got them all over the living room and the cats chasing them under the sofa and all that nonsense. So anyway, you know, pack that up and then the other thing that's important is where you get your shipping labels. I use a company called Pirate Ship, and they're a wholesale shipper. And I'm not sure how they do it, but they don't charge you anything. And you type in who it's going to and the size of your package. You push the button that says Get Rates, and they'll tell you how much it would cost to either ship at UPS Ground or a United Postal Service. And typically, it's at least 50% cheaper than retail. And once again, they don't charge you for this. I don't know how they make money on it, but I've been using them now for about well, almost three years, and I save an incredible amount on shipping for my clients. So anyway, that's a hot setup on uh, shipping lantern. Now, if you're using a 220 or something else, basically it's the same. You want to put enough paper towel or thin uh, foam rubber or something to keep your lantern from rattling against metal but put the top on and, and that's that's just as good as having it in a coffee can because the lantern itself protects the uh, globe. Alright, that's it. Hope this helps. You all have a good weekend. Bye.